Hi pet lovers, thanks for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a deeper look into hand stripping. Um, we're also gonna zoom in and do a demonstration with Katniss. Katniss is a terrier mix, but she has a wire coat. And just as an uh, overview, hand stripping is a process, an art really, of removing the top coat, the guard coat off of certain types of breeds, normally wire haired terriers. But look at the list of dogs that are supposed to be hand stripped. Make sure before you do this process or attempt to do this process, your dog is on the list of the types of dog that should be hand stripped. So for a review of our basic tools of what we use to do hand stripping, uh, you can go ahead and take a look at our video, an introduction to hand stripping on Gina's grooming channel. So let's jump into the question of why we hand strip. Hand stripping, so removing the guard coat, removing the top coat on dogs when they are ready is the right way to handle certain types of coats. The coats come in much richer, um, and not only that, the skin is also much healthier because it allows the natural process of the coat and the life cycle of the coat to take place on these types of dogs. But before we jump in, I'm gonna make a really important point and start with this important point, is that I am not a hand stripping master. So um, I definitely uh, admit that I am not a master. I'm a general breed groomer. Um, but this is important for you guys to kind of hear it from my perspective because I do offer hand stripping services as part of my service offering without being a master. And the coats come out beautiful and the skin is very healthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and break it down to a few basic rules uh, for hand stripping so you can go ahead and try to attempt this at home or as an aspiring groomer, you can go ahead and maybe add this to your portfolio of services that you offer. So let's talk about the three basic rules of hand stripping that have worked for me and that have made the dogs have the benefit of hand stripping without all of this overcomplication, all of this mastery of this art. Those three basic rules are pull the hair when ready, okay? Pull in the right direction and don't cut the coat. If you follow these three basic rules, you're gonna do great hand stripping your pet, and I'm gonna show you all the techniques uh, that involve, are involved with those three basic principles. So using Katniss, our little terrier mix, as our example, let's look at the first question, the first rule, right? Is the coat ready? Now, we're gonna go ahead and check it by seeing if we can pluck it out. We don't take too much, okay? And now this coat is plucking out very, very easily. I'm applying very little pressure to plucking this coat Okay, this is also called a blown coat where all of it is ready to go. So we're gonna have a really good strip. And when coat is like this, uh, this is gonna be a nice easy strip for you. Okay, so our second rule, now that we know that this coat is ready to come out, is plucking out really, really easily. We wanna focus on the direction when we're ready to go strip. We wanna make sure we look at the lay of the coat. Katniss's coat is laying in this direction. So when we're gonna go ahead and do her strip, we're gonna make sure to pull the coat in the right direction. Okay, and the third rule, now that we know that she's ready, we know the right direction we're gonna go with the coat, is not to cut the coat. And for a lot of beginners, working with a stone, like a stripping stone, is a great way not to cut the coat. We wanna pull all the way to the follicle, right, without cutting the coat. Once you start getting a little more used to hand stripping, you can progress with a knife, make sure this is dull, and there's different levels of teeth spacing on your stripping knives. Okay, but the key is to pull, okay, and make sure you don't cut that coat. And so before I start my strip, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Coat King. Um, I, I talk about the debate about the Coat King in our introduction to hand stripping, but I like to run this through the dogs before I hand strip. You can see what's coming off here. This saves me a lot of time. And what I'm pulling is mostly guard coat. Um, you see, if it's a little fuzzy, that's a little bit of undercoat. So there's a little bit of undercoat, but mostly hardy top coat. Now next, in preparation for the strip, I'm gonna go ahead and powder Katniss's coat. I have some grooming powder. Uh, this is um, from Crown Royale, but you can use your ear powder. You just want something that's gonna give you grip when you're gonna go ahead and start stripping. So I'm gonna lightly powder. This is also used for grooming chalk in the show but we are gonna wash this off so it doesn't cause any dryness of our skin once we are done. Now the important thing when you're stripping also is to realize that you're not gonna be doing it with your wrist. This can cut the coat. You're gonna be doing it with your forearm, so make sure that you know you're not wrist. A lot of things in grooming are with the wrist. With hand stripping, it's not. 
forearm is where you are going to go ahead and do your job. You also want to make sure you hold the skin so when you're pulling on from this hand, you're going to go ahead and make sure that this stays taut. And I'm going to start working on a section. Make sure you always do a balanced section. And we are going to go ahead and pull the long guard co coat out. Sometimes it helps to lift up, kind of see where you are, see what you're working with. All right, still working on one side. Now, one of the rules for hand stripping is you want to make sure that you are uniform, but I am going to do one side uh, for you guys. I'm going to leave her legs natural, taking some of her skirting, but I'm going to do one side, leave the other side so you guys can see the difference. So I'm finishing up basically her neck and head work, and I'll meet you guys when I'm all done with that. All right, so I am halfway through. We're gonna be leaving her a little fuzzy on her legs, but if you can take a look at this, there's a few little refinements I need to make, little fine refinements, but I wanted to show you compared to the other side that I haven't gotten to yet, this is what the other side looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same exact parts on the other side because you wanna keep symmetry with your strips. So what I did on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do on this side and I'll meet you guys back here when we're done. All right, guys, well, this is how much we've gotten off of Katniss so far. Um, again, this is before the bath, so a lot, a lot of stuff came out of her. You see, really lightened her load, took her down, um, and went ahead and made sure there's balance. Let me kind of just show you some things on the head. You have a lot of uh, different options, but what I like to do is hand pluck um, in this way. Again, you want to kind of hold that root, but you can go ahead and individually pluck groups of hair, pluck groups of coat, and kind of shape her little head. I'm not going to pluck her all the way down because the owner likes a little character to her, a little bit of a, a rough around her neck and her chest. So we're going to keep her natural that way, but just showing you that you can go ahead and style with your fingers. Again, plucking in the right direction. Good girl. You can lift up, kind of see what you're working with. Or you can also get a very fine stripping knife. I put uh, some vet, vet wrap around this to help my thumbs. And in this way, you can also pull some of that coat, a little more detailed work. All right, guys. Well, now that we have stripped down her body a little bit on her head, left her natural in some places, I'm going to go ahead, put her in the tub, wash off all that powder. We don't want that powder sitting on their skin. It can dr be drying. Uh, so be aware of that. And if you are doing this type of thing at home as a pet owner, as a wire haired uh, pet owner, make sure that if you are going to go see your groomer after this, schedule it as close as possible to the time that you are chalking or powdering their coat so that your groomer can go ahead, get them in the bath and wash off all that powder. And then you can ask your groomer to go ahead and do the eye trims, things around the feet, the sanitary thing that we're going to do with Katniss after she's done with her bath. 
uh, so that you kind of do this. You do some of it, your groomer does some of it, so you can really do well for your terriers and make sure that they get the right service to keep their coat beautiful and their skin healthy. Well, all right, guys, that's about it for hand stripping. A little bit of a deeper look in that. And again, not coming from a hand stripping master, but for a general breed groomer. But we definitely can get this done. Aspiring groomers, don't be afraid to try. Follow those three rules to make sure the coat is ready. You pull in the right direction and do not cut that coat. You're going to be really good to go if you follow those three basic rules. Guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up. Subscribe for more like it. We really appreciate you joining and we really appreciate your time. Thanks.